Hey, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and I'm really excited to share with you what's new in our latest release inside Create Studio. So the first thing we've built is GIF support. So now you can import your own GIFs and basically add them to the canvas and the timeline and adjust the duration as long as you like. And the GIF will play on a seamless loop for as long as your track is on the timeline. You can now also duplicate projects. So simply click on the duplicate icon, which is next to the trash icon, and you can create a copy of your existing project. You can also now save projects as presets, and this is really gonna speed up your workflow by simply selecting your project and making it into a preset. You can then import that exact project into other projects to really quickly use certain elements uh, that you wanna use in other projects by importing them as a preset. You can also now copy and paste motion presets. So instead of selecting a layer separately and then adding a preset and adding the same preset over and over again to different layers, what you can do is just add a preset to a layer and then use Command C or Control C if you're on a Windows to copy that preset. Then you can select each layer and basically use Command V or Control V and paste that exact motion preset onto your layer to really speed up your animating. We've also made a really exciting update and that is a new media library which is next to the shape icon. You'll see a little image icon. Click on that and you've got things like devices, icons, illustrations, SVG objects as well as real objects which look really good with 3D characters. And one of the exciting ones is our isometric scene builder. So you can basically drag and drop isometric objects and animate them really quickly to create really unique looking isometric scenes and videos inside Create Studio, as well as different types of illustration packs. You can add Apple devices, as well as SVG scene objects, which you can change the colors and make really nice looking explainer styled backgrounds and you know elements that you can add onto your videos. And we've also added in some extra keyboard shortcuts, like things like Command Zero, which will basically fit the canvas to the screen, as well as ones like Command Shift C, which will create a group uh, really quickly using the selected layers. And you'll find out other keyboard shortcuts below this video on this post. So let's switch over to the app and I'll show you some of these updates inside the software. All right, so I've just imported a GIF just to show you this. So I'll just drag and drop this on the canvas. And you can see if I just zoom out a little bit more that you can go through and drag this as long as you like and it'll play the GIF on a continual loop like that. Cool. So we've also got the option to uh, you know, save your projects as presets. So let's say for example, you wanted to maybe just use this GIF and you wanted to save it as a preset. Or if you had you know, different kind of animated objects that you wanted to um, save and add them onto different elements. You could basically go onto the project settings, which are over here, and you'll see the option to make this a preset. So if you select yes and click on save, you can see I've saved it as funny gif. Now what I can do if I just delete this, and if I created a new project, I could go to my import preset and click on select preset, and you can see I've got funny gif now. So if I add this, you can see it quickly adds that onto my project. So this is also helpful, for example, if you've got logos or um, you know, different elements that you wanna use globally on your projects, you could just you know, add your logo and save it and you can quickly add it onto your project as well. Great, so also we've got this option over here to see a media library. So we've got different things like devices, you could add a nice device onto your scene. We've got a whole bunch of icons and different styles you can see there as well. Also illustrations, so let me just show you a few like this. Um, we've also got an isometric scene builder. So let's go through and add some of these objects. So I'm just gonna grab an airplane. Let's add this building, this skyscraper. And let's have a look what else should we add. Maybe we could add maybe this truck and a tree as well as maybe this building here as well. Cool. So what you can do is just, you know, position these as you like, resize them, kind of play around with it and make your unique scene. So make this a little bit smaller, maybe places like that. And what we could do is I'm just gonna position this plane off the screen, like so. And I'm gonna rename this one, I'll just call this one plane. And what I'm gonna do is create an animation. So if I click on the plus icon over here and select position to animate the position, 
I've got my position here and the indicator is at this point. So I'm going to move the indicator over here and I'm going to move the position of this plane or maybe place it down over here, something like about there. And also I'm going to adjust the duration, maybe make it about two seconds long. And last thing I want to do is adjust the easing. So instead of having it kind of go slower than fast, what I'm going to do is select both so that it continually goes the same speed. And I'm also going to select linear so that it just goes one fluid speed across. So it doesn't look like it's speeding up or slowing down, it's just going one separate speed. So let's also put this at the top so that it plays over top of everything and click on play. So you get a really nice looking animation. So what we could also do to make this look even more realistic is go to advanced and you'll see we've got a shadow over here. So we could go through and let's add a shadow maybe about 500 and I'll maybe offset it back a little bit and also add a little bit of a blur and I'm just going to adjust the opacity and make it a little bit lower so it's just kind of subtle but it adds another nice effect to this animation. So let's just preview this. So that's yeah, how you can quickly create really nice looking scenes at isometric using isometric objects. We've also got things like real objects. Let's go over here to real objects. And these are perfect for uh, 3D characters. So let's go through, maybe want to grab, let's go grab a whiteboard. And yeah, just import that in here. Depending on the size of the element, it will take, you know, slower or, or faster in terms of importing because we download these uh, from the cloud. So yeah, so there's a nice whiteboard. What I could do is go to Studio, go to Characters, and I'm gonna go grab Sally and just drag her over here. And you can see that these real objects really do look good with 3D characters. So I'm gonna select her and go to Action and go to Point Left. And let's go to, yeah, maybe Add Action and maybe Thumbs Up. And what we could do is add some text. Let's go to Text Layer and I'll make this text black. And I'll just position it up like that, okay? So if I just preview this, that's looking really, really cool. Yeah, and you can really build out your scenes. We're gonna be adding in a whole bunch of other 3D objects as well, um, yeah, for you. So those are the real objects. We've also got things like scene objects as well as SVGs. So these look really good for explainer videos. So you've got these really nice looking designs. Some of, the, some of the layers have multiple layers, some of these SVGs. So this one's got like two um, layers and you can adjust the colors of these objects as well. Uh, yeah, so really build out really nice looking designed scenes. So those are the main updates inside Create Studio. We've also got the keyboard shortcuts. So let's say for example, you wanna center and kind of fit this canvas like to your screen. What you can do is use Control or Command Zero and you can see it instantly snaps this canvas to you know a nice looking size. Um, we've got things also like Command Shift C. So if I select multiple elements like this and go Command Shift C, you can see it creates it into a group of elements. And you can just double click on those group to go into the group. And some other keyboard shortcuts that you're about to see below this post. So I hope you've enjoyed this update. If you have, make sure to leave a comment below. And also if you could leave us a nice review, that would really be helpful for our company. Um, and yeah, we're, good, we're working on some really amazing new updates for our next release. So I hope you've enjoyed it for now. Try it out and yeah, have fun creating.